We are in desperate need of a new president, and Marvin is gonna run for president. Let's see if he gets chosen. Hey, Daddy! Jeffy, you're making a mess! Hey! Hey, Daddy! <laughs> she laughs at anything! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I got a joke for you, Jeffy. What? What does a gay horse eat? Dick. What? No, they eat... Hey. hey. Oh, I hey. guess that would make more sense. But they still like dick. Je Jeffy, whatever. Just get this off the couch. Let's, let's watch the news. Okay. Uh, Biden news. drops out. Since Joe Biden has dropped out of the presidential race, the Democrats are still looking for their nominee for the 2024 election to go up against Donald Trump. So if you think you have what it takes to be the next president, then start a campaign. Oh, wow. They still need someone else to run for president. Oh, dang. Can I run for president? No, Jeffy. You're 35 years <laughs> old. That's a good one. Oh, Marvin, you're over 35. You could be president. I'm not smart enough to be president. My daddy, that'd be the you just got to be influential. Influential. My daddy runs the country. Jeffy, don't say country like that. Well, all I said was country. country. Jeffy, you're saying it as two words. Say it as one word. It's country. Country. Oh, said a country. I'm Jeffy, sounding it out. It. Hey, daddy, I got a joke for you. What type of tree grows female peepees? What? A country. All right, that's it, Jeffy. You're grounded. And the first part of being grounded is you're going to get a vacuum and suck up all this hay. Why? Before a gay horse eats it? Yeah, exactly. So go get it. Too hard. No, that's what she said. Damn. Who's she? But, like, like, you know, like a, that's what she said. Like, like She's going to think he's before. cheating. Who has said that, Marvin? Yeah, what's her name? But no, no, no girl has said ah, that. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So you lied? It's a joke. A joke is not a lie. I mean, it's not a true thing that happened, but... It, so let, me, let me see who that is. Hello. Hi, Marvin. Oh, good man. I don't have my house payment this month. I don't give a fuck. That's not what this is about. What's, What's he doing? About? I need you to run for president. But me? Why me? Why? Because I am in a shithole of tax debt right now. Ah. I haven't paid my taxes in 10 years, and I'm actively being audited. Why and him out of everyone? My offshore bank accounts. So I need you to run for president so you can pardon all my tax debt. Well, why don't you just run for president and pardon yourself? I don't want to run for president because I don't want to have to live four years in the White House. Ew! Poor! My house is way better than the White House. What? Not the president's not allowed to drive. So how am I gonna drive my Lamborghinis? Ew! Poor! And also, I mean... the last president that got sucked off in the Oval Office got impeached. I get sucked off all the time, Marvin. Like five to ten times a day. So I'm gonna be impeached as fuck. So that's why I need you to do it. Well, I don't even think I have what it takes to be a president. Marvin, the only thing you need to worry about is money, and I got plenty of it. So I'll sit there and do it, bro. Your do campaign. it. Super pack as fuck. Are, are you sure I have what it takes? We yes, talking millions, bro. Yeah. Well, great. You're a perfect replacement. Let's go get you a really nice suit and shit. Okay. Marvin, that's a nice suit. That looks good. Whoa, Marvin, what are you all dressed up for? I'm running for president. You are? Fuck yeah, he is. And I've already funded your campaign $200 million. $200 so million? Nominee. I am? Yeah, so now let's go to your first debate. Debate? Well, what am I even going to say? I don't know. Just Abortion? answer the questions and do whatever you think. Okay. Come on. Hello and welcome to the 2024 presidential debate where Donald Trump will be debating uh, new Democratic presidential candidate, Marvin Marvin. No fuck, that's his actual name. No Marvin way Marvin. they All use right, Lance as I'm going to ask you Trump. some questions, and you answer them. We'll start with you, Mr. Trump. What would you do to secure the border? Well, the first thing the I ear would too. do is I would get a huge, I'm talking huge pair of scissors, and I would cut right across the U.S.-Mexico border. Why? And I would push... Mexico out into the ocean so they're no longer connected to America, the greatest country in the world. And Mexico would be its own little Yo, he's nailing Mexicans it. Mexicans not taking our jobs. And we would maintain our Taco Bell jobs here. Cause Taco Bell is a great American cuisine filled the bellies of many Americans. Right, yeah, but Marvin, copywriting same Mexico. For you. What would you do to secure the border? Uh the the border um I've been on a cruise to Mexico. Are are they not allowed to Take a cruise here? Like, can they not visit America? Like, what's the yeah. point? Yeah. I don't, I don't even know what he's saying. And quite frankly, I don't think he knows what he's saying either. Mexicans are stealing our jobs. Mr. Trump, please Damn, finish my Lord. his answer. Stealing uh, our that, jobs. Was, that, was, that was my answer. I, I don't know what the... I've been to Canada. Are we stopping Canada too? All right. Well, next question. Yeah, what about Canada? Marvin, how would you create more jobs in America? Well, ever since COVID, the McDonald's and Walmart where I live are no longer 24 hours. And so, if I was president, I would make them open 24 hours, so that'll create jobs. 
because I want a quarter pounder with cheese at 2 a.m. Okay, Mr. That's Trump, stupid, bro. How would you create more jobs? Well, the first thing I'm going to do to create more jobs is hire a bunch of people to build my huge pair of scissors for the border. Then the next thing I'm going to do for more jobs is I'm going to hire a bunch of Mexican watchers that are going to sit on the border. And what they're going to do is they're going to watch for Mexicans trying to swim back to our great big beautiful Damn! Country. And then I'm going to hire more Secret Service agents. And then I'm going to hire more Secret Service Whoa, agent the way he did trainers. That. And a new Secret Service director. Oh, shit. And in the great big factory of bandages, I'm going to hire more workers to create more ear bandages. And then in all our hospitals, we're going to have more ear doctors. They're going to be great. They're going to be very intelligent. They're going to be handsome. And then we're going to have more dome builders for my indoor rallies because I'm not going outside anymore. I'm not going to do it. Can't make me do it. All right, I mean, yeah, question. he's Mr. You Trump, gotta stay safe. What would you do about gun control? Quite frankly, if everyone had guns that day, this wouldn't have happened in my beautiful ear because they would have shot him before he shot me right in my beautiful ear. The <laughs> doctors <laughs> even were astonished of how much it bled. They said my ear bled more blood than they've ever seen anything else bleed ever. Okay, and fuck that's off. Astonishing. That's a you lie. You cut your finger off and it still wouldn't bleed more blood than my ear bled that day. But uh, they're still that's biased. Like why the ear bleeds more than any other body part that anyone has uh, but with that being said i think babies should have guns i think when you're born babies you what the, the fuck hands, and that is how we're gonna make america great again no <laughs> all right marvin what about you what do you think about guns uh well guns are loud and scary and they kill people. No, and my I, guy, what are you think, doing? I don't think you need an AR-15. I mean, a handgun's nice, I mean, to protect yourself. I don't I don't know why you'd ever need an AR-15. It, I mean, they should take an IQ test before like, giving you know, anyone a gun. That. I don't know why you'd need that. So, I don't, I guess you buy what you want, I guess. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you. This guy right here is a loser. I'm a winner. I bet I bet he doesn't even know how to golf. What what's your handicap? Oh, I'm I'm not handicapped. I'm 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 good. I'm mentally good. I think my son might be handicapped. I mean, I think he, <laughs> he I think he's faking it sometimes. But what? I'm okay. I bet that's something I didn't know. Par on a par four. I I can par four. Wrong. All right, that does it for this debate. Well, you did okay, Marvin, but I think Trump okay. did Okay. The good news is we have until November to get you ready for the election. So I recommend playing more golf. Well, Marvin, I think you did great. Oh. And also, I think you're right. McDonald's should be open 24 hours again. Good afternoon, Mr. Marvin. Who are you Wait, guys? why are they here? your new Secret Service agents. I'm Agent Earl, and this is Agent Guy. Hello. Oh, why do I have Secret Service agents? Well, bro is that broken, well, we have to protect the candidates, too, to make sure they make it to the election. Oh, that's so fun. We're protecting him, not you. So what do you guys do all day? Well, we protect you at all times. You go to take a piss, we hold it. You take a shit, we wipe it. We protect you from Damn. everything. Oh, okay. Oh, my stomach's growling. He's got a Russian rat in his stomach trying to kill him. Get him down. Oh, oh, get what get what the there, fuck, yo, dude? What? I'm hungry. Oh, I thought you had a rat in your stomach trying to eat its way out of your abdomen, or maybe you swallowed some cyanide. No, I'm just hungry. I want to go to the kitchen and get some food. He needs food. Food. All right, Bro, if kitchen. I, I had that, I'd be I so fucking set. grateful. We good? We're good. Are we good? We're good. Okay, move, 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 <laughs> Mr. Martin, for your safety, I have to recommend that you not eat these. You're going to get some kind of deadly diarrhea. I recommend we go somewhere safe with the roof, like Applebee's. I can grow. Applebee's I is safe for them? I got this side. Got they should be taking them to a I laboratory and grow their own food. Are we good? We're good. Move, 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 move. Okay, Mr. Marvin, you stay right there while me and Agent Earl clear the area. Agent Earl, go. The knife could hurt, Marvin. Make the sure glass could. Knives and forks. We don't want anything pointy. Uh, I, I can use a fork. No, that's what the terrorists want you to do is eat with forks. What the fuck? Stones only. Hello, welcome to Apple. What the fuck? Get her, get her, get her. Get her Who are you? I'm the waitress. Do you have a gun, you hippie? No, I work here. We good? We're good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Ugh, what can I get you? Well, just to be safe, I think we should probably get, um, one of everything on the entire menu just to make sure it's not poison. I think, girl. Are you going to pay this time? Uh, excuse me, this is a presidential candidate. Yeah, a secret. going to use campaign money to pay. Okay. All right, Mr. Marvin, when the food gets here, don't eat anything until me and Agent Earl have tasted it. 
All it's right, gonna take forever. Oh, this all looks so good. Yeah, I, I mean, poisoned. I'm bringing the check before you can run away. Uh, what do you think you're doing, Marvin? I no. want a cheese stick. No, 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 no. I have to make sure none of this stuff is poisoned before you can eat it. Okay. Sure check the drinks first. Good idea, Agent Earl. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? This is Diet Pepsi. This might as well be poisoned. Marvin, I'm doing you a favor. All right, now what do I want to taste test first? Ooh, maybe the chicken. Bro, you guys are just those, eating for yourself. Or maybe the chicken Alfredo, or the four cheese mac and cheese honey pepper chicken tenders, or maybe the kids cheese pizza. Just or the dessert. My bur his burger. All right, Marvin, just be patient and wait right there while we test this food. Agent Earl, ready? Ready. Are we ready? We're ready. <laughs> They're gonna eat everything. Uh, no, that's you fat fucks. Not poison. Why? <laughs> Oh, that was delicious, Marvin. What am I gonna eat? Oh, yeah, right. Well, I do have two french fries left that might be poisoned. So, how are you going to pay? <laughs> pay? We don't have to pay. He's a presidential candidate. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> yeah, I am. I mean... All right, that's it! Guys! What? Oh, oh, shit. Marvin, you okay, buddy? Man. How are you guys not oh, protecting him? Oh, we are so fired. Yeah. Oh, you guys oh, are Marvin, more than I'm so fired. I'm sorry you got shot, buddy. We couldn't help. We were just in a food coma. We couldn't even move. You saw the gun and you jumped out of the way. Well, yeah, Marvin, it's a gun. It's fucking scary. I don't want to get you guys. shot. You guys. is to get shot to protect me. Wh why would I get shot for you? Because you're supposed to protect my life. Wh why is your life worth more than mine? Well, because well, just your job is to, to die for me if you have to. Exactly. Oh, you're definitely not fit to be president if you think you're better than everybody. I don't think that, but your job is to protect me. Well, I don't want to get shot. I mean, then why did you sign up for the job? I die for you. That's not fair. Okay, listen, then you're not good to be a Secret Service agent. I don't want to be. Fuck this. I don't want to get shot. I'm not doing this job. <sighs> Baby, I think I'm going to drop out of the presidential race. It's too stressful. You're not allowed to eat, and people try to kill you every day. I think that's a good idea, Marvin. Okay, how do I know? But what about the money? Like, do I go on Twitter? I don't have a Twitter. I think you just say it. I'm dropping out of the presidential race. And then everyone Here's just door. puts Hello. it out. Hello, Marvin. Oh, God, what do you want, Trump? Well, I just wanted to stop by because I heard that you dropped out of the race. I did. Loser, loser, the hugest loser this country's ever seen. All right, well, I thought you'd be okay. happy. Oh, I am, Marvin. Build the wall, build the wall, build the wall, you. Build the world, <laughs> you can't build it real tall Across the Mexico border Goodbye, fucker Oh shit! Oh my ear! Oh, oh. oh no, that was fucking funny, bro! The Build the Wall song was pretty good. Okay, President Marvin! I would never vote for Marvin and... I don't know how he got past that debate stage, but... Some people just listen to anything. With that being said, let's go Trump.